and welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here, and if you are new, hey girl, hey. So in this video today, I'm gonna share how you can take some items that you possibly have in your kitchen and turn them into some awesome decor. So it just so happens that I found both of these at the thrift store. One is a cutting board and the other one is a pizza pill, and I'm super excited to show you what I did with them. So let's get on into DIY number one. All right, so the two items, as I mentioned, are gonna be this pizza pill, and then the other one is going to be just this small wooden cutting board. All right, so for the first little DIY, all I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this little clear plastic ruler that came with some wooden stickers that I got from Target's Bullseye, and I am going to just create some markings where I am going to drill some holes around this smaller cutting board. And first, I'm just gonna just use my pen to just put like some pressure points um, to make some indentations, and then I'm going to just take a marker and then kind of mark those areas. I really didn't have to do that, but I did that so that I can see it clearer. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my drill and I've already picked out the correct size drill bit and now I'm just going to carefully drill these holes around the cutting board. Next, I'm gonna come over here with my palm sander and I'm just going to sand the front of this cutting board. So as you can see at the bottom, um, I actually add, drilled some holes that I didn't even really need. And so I filled those in with wood filler and now I'm just taking my palm sander and sanding that smooth. All right, so now I'm going to start to stain. So the stain that I'm using is golden oak and I'm going to add that to the front and the back of this cutting board. So as you can see, there are cut marks that you can see. Um, to get rid of those, you can try to use um, a coarser grit and then come back with a fine grit to kind of smooth it out. Or you can just do like me, which I'm gonna show you in the next clip, where I am just going to paint over this. So after I've stained this, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to come in with some white chalk paint. So I believe the color is White Cottage. This is by Folk Art. And I'm just going to paint the front and the back of this. And this part really helps to remove the cut marks that you can still see if you don't want to um, use the coarser grit to kind of get rid of those cut marks. Also, another thing someone asked me before in a video that I did a while back, um, why did you stain and then paint? So I stained it first because I'm going to distress it and when I distress this, you'll be able to see that stain color come through. All right, so now I have my freshly painted cutting board and I am going to start to add some twine to where I have my holes. So I'm gonna start off from the top and I'm gonna take that twine and I'm going to come in through the back and then I'm gonna come and loop it to, through the front. Um, and if the holes aren't big enough, you could just go ahead and take your drill and drill the hole again and then you'll be able to add your twine through. So I did this on both sides. And another tip to do if you are doing twine or any type of rope or anything like that, and you're trying to get it through a hole, all you have to do is just take your hot glue and just glue the end together and then you'll be able to just easily pull those through the holes that you create. All right, so after I added the twine to both sides, all I'm doing now is just adding some glue and gluing these down and then snipping off the excess. The next thing that I did was I just added a piece of twine up here at the top. So I just looped it up here, took my hot glue, glued it together, and then now you have like a little piece of twine where you can hang this if you want or just have this as an extra piece of decoration. Now I'm gonna take these wooden letters that you can pick up from Dollar Tree and I am just going to stain them that same golden oak color. So after I have my letters stained, I'm just going to now add them to this cute little cutting board and I'm going to be using my hot glue to do that. 
The last thing I did before I sealed this with wax is I came and I just did a light distressing around the edges of this piece. And as you can see, I'm distressing this and you're going to be able to see that golden oak color come through. Okay, so here is how this DIY turned out. I love how this turned out, super simple to do. I'm sure if you go thrifting, you have seen one of these smaller cutting boards. And if you don't wanna use it as a cutting board, you can use it as decor. So you can add this somewhere in your home, in the kitchen, or if you have an online shop, you can add it to your shop for people to buy. For this next DIY, we're gonna be using this pizza peel and we're gonna be turning it into some reversible decor. So the first thing that I'm gonna do with this is it had like a waxy coating on it. So I'm just taking my sander and I am going to sand this down the front and the back of this. So after I have sanded off that waxy coating, now I'm going to start to stain this. And the stain that I'm using is dark walnut and I'm just going to put that on one side of this pizza peel. All right, so for the opposite side of this pizza peel, I'm just going to take this Rust-Oleum spray paint. The color is Smoky Beige, and I am going to spray this on the opposite side, and I did about two and a half coats. So after I spray painted the opposite side, some of the spray paint came over a little bit, so all I'm doing is taking my palm sander and I'm just going to sand those spots away. And then I'm going to come back with the dark walnut and I am going to cover where I sanded away the spray paint. All right, so now that my cutting board is dry on both sides, so the side that I stained and the side that I spray painted, I am going to take this adhesive stencil that I have used in a previous project. Um, and I got this from Michaels. And I'm just going to add this stencil to the stained part of this pizza peel. And I'm going to be using that same white chalk paint that I used in the first DIY that I showed. So all I'm gonna do is make sure that I press this down nicely onto the cutting board. And then I'm going to start to use my stencil sponge and I am going to add that white paint on top of my stencil. All right, so the type of stencil that I have, I'm going to be able to kind of like put this in multiple places. So depending on your stencil, if you just get one huge stencil that fits over the whole pizza peel, you won't be able to do this, but if you get like a smaller or medium one, or maybe like one of the rounder ones like I have here, you're gonna be able to add this to different areas of the pizza peel. So that is exactly what I am doing, and I'm just filling in all of the areas that I can with this stencil. Okay, so now I'm all done finishing up the stencil on here. And I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you can do if you are stenciling on top of wood or if you have just like, as you can see, some of the paint kind of seeped through the stencil, ways that you can fix them. All right, so tip number one, if you have used a stencil on top of wood and you kind of have a little bit of bleed through, all you have to do is take a finer grit, so this is a 220 grit, and just start to sand away that paint. So you're basically doing the same thing that you would if you were doing this on like a painted surface that you stenciled where you would like take the paint and just paint over where the bleed through is. All right, so the second little tip, which I love to do, I do this all the time, if I like mess up on a stencil or something, I will start to distress the stencil. So when you start to distress the stencil, it really just helps to blend in like any mess ups or cover up, as I should say, like any mess ups or um, bleed through that you might have because you just have like this distressed stencil. So it doesn't even matter if you're, um, paint has bled through because no one would really even be able to tell because you have distressed the piece. All right, so for the opposite side, I am going to do the same little technique that I did in another DIY, which I'll have it linked down below, where I basically just took some twine and I'm going to start to create like, I guess you can call like line art or something on this pizza peel. So all you have to do is take your glue gun and just start to have fun. You can just create like squiggly lines, you can do spirals, you can do whatever you wanna do. And this is really gonna give it like a nice little boho look. 
and I love the dimension that it also gives as well when you add the twine to a flat surface. And if you didn't want to do the squiggly lines, you can definitely like put a saying on here or um, use the twine to create a word or a saying or anything like that. You can also just pre-draw out um, your design that you want to put on the cutting board or pizza pill or whatever you're gonna be using. Um, you can just draw it out or you can just do like me and I'm just like going with the flow, kind of um, just adding the glue and then adding the twine and creating a design that way. All right, so here we are, the reversible pizza peel. Um, on this side, we have our stencil. So the stencil, I distressed it. Again, if you ever mess up on a stencil and you love the distressed look, an easy way to fix it is to just distress it and it makes it look amazing. I also distressed the edges of this pizza peel as well. And then on the opposite side, I just used that twine. I love to use the twine in this way now. It's just a nice little line design and it's just speaks boho to me all the time when I see this I hope this video gave you some inspiration on things that you can do to a pizza pill or a cutting board if you find this in a thrift store or if you have this at your home right now and you were thinking about oh my gosh my cutting board I don't need it anymore I'm gonna give it away I'm gonna throw it away you don't have to you can turn it into some nice decor so if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think if you aren't subscribed to my channel make sure you click on that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.